Hey everybody, welcome back to the Rebel Chumps channel. Today we're reviewing this awesome lightsaber, so let's delve right into it. Okay guys, let's delve right into it. We're gonna start with the specifications of this awesome lightsaber. They show right up on the screen now. And as you can see, it's pretty darn amazing. Um, there's two variants, variants that we have uh, available. We have the RGB inhaled LED option, but we also have in this case, which I'm holding now, the NeoPixel uh, setup. And I can tell you guys, it's really amazing. It's super bright, super loud. It feels really good in the hand, this lightsaber. And uh, it's just overall amazing amazing packet so um, if you liked what you're seeing then we're gonna flip over the screen now and we're gonna take a close-up look of this awesome lightsaber so here we go okay guys we're now taking a close-up look on these awesome lightsabers so as I said I got two in front of me one with the NeoPixel setup and one with the inhaled RGB setup so we're gonna go over the details of these lightsabers Again, um, the specs that I have not mentioned so far will actually show up in this close-up video as well. So any missing specifications will show up. Um, both these lightsabers, as I said, are in gun gray metal finish, which I absolutely love. Just look how nice and shiny these lightsabers are. I love how the, um, the chrome of it actually shines the light really nice back, like it really uh, diffracts the lights beautiful and really show up the many details that these lightsabers have for this particular hilt design so we're gonna turn over and we start with the emitter itself so as you can see it's a windowed emitter it has several long or uh, vertical slits and what I like about vertical slits is that it really helps to amplify the um, light leaking through the emitter and give you that really beautiful effect uh, with uh, windowed emitters that um, not always translate as great with the uh, horizontal uh, slits in my personal opinion. So let's take a very close look at the emitter and you can see this first uh, retention screw here is for the blade so it's a nice high up there deep blade socket and uh, that helps to really hold that blade in fairly firmly when you are doing heavily uh, dueling with your friends and whatnot and that's really important as an aspect of custom lightsabers that are also made and designed for heavy dueling in mind you want to have a, a good deep blade socket that hold the blade nicely and firm in there and have a good retention screw height that make sure that the blade doesn't slide out and slips through the tension of the retention screw all the way out and just slips out and you have a blade flying over the place so we continue with the rest of the emitter very very nice and as you can see you can put as many retention screws in this hilt as you can see so you could put them all in all these holes they're all been pre um pre-tapped so they have screw wire in there and uh, you can put a retention in screw in every hole it also is really cool about the fact like if you ever have the risk of stripping uh, retention screws uh, holes then you just have many other holes to choose from without having to send back your lightsaber to a saber smith to fix that and drill out a new hole and tap it again uh, which I really like about this hill design and it also uh, could mitigate as additional light to shine through from the blade and then I put the other one aside for a moment so we have a bit more uh, workspace we have the uh, uh, auxiliary switch here which is nicely sunken as you can see um, I really like that it feels nice it has a nice tactical feedback and uh, just overall feels really good now this little screw here this is actually for the uh, retention of the blade or, or sort of the LED holder in this case the LED holder with uh, the NeoPixel it's for the NeoPixel uh, connector and that you can see how deep that is uh, from the blade socket so that's awesome and we go a bit uh, further down we have of course the activation switch it's a 12 millimeter uh, light up uh, LED switch so you have a nice color coming up when you ignite the lightsaber um, a fan favorite for a lot of people that love custom lightsabers 
A bit lower we have this nice gripping area. Again, um, I didn't mention it or stress it out enough, but the, the gripping area on this emitter section from the top to the middle section is really, really good. It's, it gives you a really firm grip. So if you wanna go have a dueling with this lightsaber, um, it, you can do it to all your heart's content. A bit lower we have a um, all uh, freshly uh, empty con canvas basically. So you can grip it and have a really nice comfortable grip. But at the same time, if you feel like this lightsaber design deserves a uh, leather grip or maybe uh, some other material that you feel like it really suits on this hilt then you can do that uh, yourself and really customize this lightsaber even further which is really nice and then a bit lower we have the uh, pommel section again the nice aggressive gripping areas and a vented pommel which I'm gonna show up like this and uh, really nice loud uh, vented pommel as you see uh, really cool design it uh, is a bit reminiscent of uh, the window from uh, return of the jedi in the emperor throne room so you can see that in this uh, design it's uh, really cool it also has a bit away from a canopy of a tie fighter it has a, uh, a really cool little uh, ring here so you can hang it off your belt from this ring or decide uh, otherwise uh, if you decide desire so and um, let me grab the NeoPixel variant and you can see it's exactly the same. Uh, it's just the technology inside is a bit different and uh, we get over that in a few seconds. But uh, the same uh, blade depth. So even if you're uh, feeling like you want to get this lightsaber in an inhaled LED setup or you want to get it with NeoPixel, you have the options to choose so. And uh, it does not really affect the physical dimensions of the lightsaber. You get the same high quality and uh, durability of these lightsabers, including those awesome deep blade sockets. Now, this lightsaber also has some really cool feature it actually can unscrew at the body section. So we unscrew this as if this, is, this entire section can be treated as a very big pommel. And this will actually review the chassis and battery setup. So I put this to the side. So this is the one for the inhaled LED setup. It has a, uh, as you can see, it has a plastic uh, uh, slit that holds the battery holder and it holds the soundboard as well. So I'm gonna pause it for a second and show you some specifications of the soundboard so we have a good idea uh, what this same soundboard is capable of doing. And uh, it's really impressive. And especially at, uh, given at this price point, you get a lot uh, for your money, a lot of bang for buck. So I'm gonna put this down for a second. And I'm gonna open the one for the NeoPixel setup. So you also have a bit of an idea for this lightsaber. And uh, I have to say the uh, threads and uh, the way how this untreads and threads is really smooth. I really like the feel of it. So put down the uh, pommel, which we will look at the pommel in a second. And this is the other setup. So again, uh, details will show up in a moment. Very nice setup here. Removable battery setup, which is really, really, really good. And um, the speaker is here. It's a bit hard to show you guys, but oh, here we go. That works perfect. So that's the speaker setup. And the speaker setup on this saber is, um, is here. So it's actually in the middle of the hood. Now, as I said, I promised to let you take a look at the pommel design as well. Um, it's a uh, solid piece, as you can see. And uh, that's really nice. It has a nice deep vent for the sound as well, like a dick, uh, the echo chambers around this long. So sound can fence really nice and makes this lightsaber really loud. So I'm gonna demonstrate that in a moment. Well, I uh, screw in the pommel sections again. Uh, again, it's really important that you have really smooth and crisp uh, threads on uh, parts that are meant to be threaded and untreaded on a frequent basis when you operate these lightsabers. And uh, these ones have that. They're absolutely really nice to uh, to thread and untread these parts and uh, do whatever you need, like replacing a battery or whatever you, you desire, or changing fonts by uh, removing the SD card and whatnot. So I'm gonna turn on these lightsabers really quick and then we go to the verdict. This is the NeoPixel with a white LED. Put this to the side in one moment. Super sensitive, as you see. It's insane how amazing sensitive this uh, lightsaber is. 
And yes, you think this is an inhaled LED lightsaber. Actually, it's not. This is a NeoPixel connector with three little LEDs. And let me raise the camera for a second so you can see that really clear. You see that? It's also branded for Ultimate Works, which is really awesome. So besides just the color changing of the uh, NeoPixel connector LEDs, uh, it actually allows you also to configure it uh, with different sound fonts to have different effects. For example, the LED switch is now blinking instead of being a solid white and the little three NeoPixel uh, or the three little uh, LEDs on the NeoPixel connector are now actually um, uh, flashing as well. So it gives you different effects, you see different colors. So it gives you a lot of different options there. Uh, that's really cool about NeoPixel in general you get a lot of uh, different configurations that allows you to do all kinds of stuff. This is the inhaled LED and uh, it's set to a very bright color. It's tri Oh, well, let's see if we can show it. It's really, really bright. <laughs> um, again, you can ch color change it to your heart desire, all kinds of changes and colors that you uh, feel like appropriate for the, the, the character you're displaying, either Sith or Jedi. And um, it's really nice and loud as you can hear. So what I will do next is bring up uh, the lightsabers for a verdict. So uh, let's turn over the camera. Hey everybody, sorry to interrupt the review video like this. But if you are interested in picking up this lightsaber for yourself from the Path Store, you might want to consider getting $5 off by using my promo code REBELC. To use this code, you go to the pathstore.com website and you go to this lightsaber and you fill in the code in your order details and you will get $5 off. I definitely recommend getting the five dollar off. Let's go back to the review. So without further ado, we're gonna check out some of the capabilities of the soundboard in this amazing lightsaber. So let's turn it on. It has a uh, really cool sound font on there now at the moment with the flame effect on. So get a good picture of that. You can see how beautiful the light shines through these long vertical slits. And I really like that because uh, with these kind of emitters, it really shines and, and gives that additional effect of the light coming and shining through from the blade that you don't get with horizontal slits, in my opinion. It just really showcases that beautiful emitter design. As you see that, I bring it a bit closer for you guys. I really like this effect. It's a really beautiful design for the emitter. And of course, we have all the options that you know, uh, color changing and whatnot. Let me turn it off really quick. Let me change the font. So we have a little bit of a different idea with different sound fonts. How's he sounds? How's he reacts? Okay. Here we go. It's a nice solid red. Flash and flash. And we have uh, the blaster sounds. This kind of effects you only get with NeoPixel. So let me see if I can do it like behind me. So you see it a bit better. Really nice. And um, another sound font just for the heck of it. Why not? Here we go. Ooh, nice blue uh, fiery effect. Really awesome. So if you want to get this lightsaber yourself, below this the link to the shop so you can go there and uh, pick up one yourself they still have stock at the moment but uh, be fast and it's just a really beautiful lightsaber it, it just feels really good in the hand it just you know you can really put force behind it if you want to do heavy dueling because that choke point on that emitter is just oh i love it it just feels so good and if you hold the um, lightsaber a bit lower you can really you know, prolong and put power in those swings and really bash into uh, people if needed. Um, so that's really awesome. I definitely re recommend you guys checking it out. So if you're interested in a non uh, Neo Pixel setup for heavy dueling, of course we have the R uh, RGB inhaled LED setup as well. So you can definitely check it out. Um, I don't have a blade at the moment with me, but uh, as you can see, super sensitive. Really nice. 